and welcome to Wager on the World Cup. I'm Io Adrian, a sports writer for Free Malaysia Today. Wow, what a night of shocks we had last night. Three unexpected results. First up was Costa Rica against Serbia. And although not too much happened in it, we had a spectacular goal by free kick assassin Alexander Kolarov. Absolutely perfect free kick that left Kaylor Navas completely beaten and that led Serbia to the win. Next, we have Germany against Mexico, with Mexico scoring a shock 1-0 win thanks to a Herving Lozano goal. And in the second half especially, Germany had chance after chance after chance, but just couldn't find a way through a resolute Mexican defense. And then we come to Brazil against Switzerland, which finished 1-1. Philip Coutinho opened the scoring for Brazil, but Steven Zuber equalized in the second half for Switzerland. It wasn't Neymar's best work, but his Barcelona teammate Philip Coutinho helped him out and scored the goal which gave Brazil one point. Now let's look at tonight's games. So we're going to look at England versus Tunisia first, and this is Harry Kane's first time as England captain, so the pressure will be all on him as he leads a young three Lions team against an equally young Cartilage Eagles team. Now, how do I see this going? I think England have just about enough of them to edge out this Tunisia team. It's going to be close, but I'm going to go with England on this. Next, we have Sweden against South Korea. And for Sweden, this is going to be significant because it's their first major game of the post Zlatan Ibrahim Ibrahimovic era. As some of you know, Zlatan is easily the greatest player to ever come out of Sweden. So it will be interesting to see how this current Swedish team fills his very big boots. How do I see this going? I'm going with a draw because I feel that neither side has a clear advantage in any department at the moment. Finally, we come to Belgium versus Panama. And this could not have been a tougher entry to the World Cup for the World Cup rookies Panama. First time ever participating in the World Cup, and they're taking on one of the contenders to win it all. And because of the large gulf in class between these two teams, that's why I'm going with a comfortable Belgium win tonight. Alright, this has been Wagers on the World Cup, signing off.